Ooh, what is up guys? Uh, super excited about this video. Obviously by the title and the thumbnail, you probably know what it's gonna be about. You definitely know what it's gonna be about. But, yes, I'm finally starting my own clothing brand. Super excited! Because I have literally been wanting to do this for the longest time. Uh, it's a process that I actually started back in high school. About four years ago, I just, obviously the lack of funds, me being a high school kid and doing high school dumb shit all the time. And then going to college and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, it's just a bunch of excuses. I know. But um, yeah, no, I'm finally starting my own clothing brand. I'm super excited for it. And uh, literally just, it's one step closer to building the life that I want for myself, my family. And it's, it's a community that I've been looking forward to like creating for literally the longest time. And I'm super stoked that you guys will get to be a part of it. And uh, it's just, it's, I don't know. I don't want to say it's overwhelming. It's just, I don't usually like to speak things into existence. Uh, mainly just because like, if I don't, if I say something and I don't follow through with it, or if I don't do it, then I get roasted, which is what should happen, obviously, because accountability is everything. And yeah, no, I'm super stoked. Uh, I don't really want to, right now, I'm not going to announce when I, I anticipate to have the launch date because there's still a lot that's going to happen. I'm already in the process of doing the, doing the designs. I actually create the designs all by myself on my own software. And I am in contact like, with some manufacturers. Uh, right now, it's just a lot, a lot of negotiating on prices and whatnot. And yeah, uh, I'm super stoked for it. Um, when I get samples in, um, I will 100% show you guys because I really want to build this community with you guys. I want you guys to be a part of this. And it's something that is going to hold a special place in my heart because the message behind the brand is to me like it's, it's something very sentimental. It's very important. And like this is one of those things where I, like, I would literally rather go broke and then ever give up on this. Like, and a lot of people aren't going to see that. And like, that's another main point that I want to talk about since we're already on the topic. But one thing I'm like, I've learned over like the course of like the last couple of years, my buddy, Austin McCullough, uh, really good friend of mine that I met back at my entrepreneurial event. Very smart dude. Very, very smart dude. Um, kind of like mentioned to me and it's like, you, you can't worry about other people's thoughts. I mean, like when you're building a business, you're building a brand or you're doing what you're doing, like what you truly want to do, you don't have to feel the need to explain yourself. And you got to understand that not everyone's going to see what you're doing in the same way as you. Like they're not going to envision it the way you're envisioning it. That's why like a lot of people can get upset. It's easy to get upset. I should say it's more easy to get upset when someone tells you, like tries to tell you like why not to do something. And it's just like, they don't see it how you see it. And that's something that, like, it gets said to me over and over and over and over. And they're just like, well, what about this? What about if this happens? What if, guys? What if? What if I win the lottery? Same thing. What if? I, I hate what ifs. That's my number one thing. Like, that's a pet peeve of mine is when people say, what if? I don't care about the what ifs. Like, if you truly want to do something, just go do it. No one, like, don't worry about other people's opinions. Like, specifically with this clothing brand, like, I know a lot of people are going to say it's probably stupid. And I know a lot of people probably aren't going to support it and that's fine, but I'm going to chase after the people that want to support that want to be a part of the community and want to build the brand with me versus the people who are just going to talk crap about it because they don't want to see me, see me succeed. And that's another point, guys, not everyone wants to see you succeed. There's going to be a lot of family, a lot of friends that claim to support you, but guys, in reality, they're only there for when you make it. They're keeping a foot in the door to try to keep access to you and I think the biggest thing about when you're trying to build a business or build like your thing, like obviously like me being like working on being a fitness influencer, I guess. And obviously I'm a small time one right now, but like as I grow and I grow this channel and I grow everything else, it just comes down to keeping your circle small. Like you really have to know and you have to be, be aware of things and pay attention to little things because there's a lot of people that are going to talk behind your back and everything, but yeah, moral of the story is, guys, if you want to build a business, go for it. Don't seek other people's opinions on it. It's okay to, to keep your, your ears open and listen to what they have to say, but don't always take everything to heart. And at the end of the day, do what's best for you. Do what you want to do. And don't let someone else change the vision of what you see something. But, uh, yeah, so now that I got that out of the way, uh, I'm about to go get my back scraped. 
well, not my back, but my muscles. So, uh, sit back and uh, this video might be a little bit longer, but I hope you enjoy it. guys ah, I'm back so just got my muscle scraped uh body so I don't know you probably won't be able to see it I don't know yeah I don't know where it's at it's somewhere in there but uh yeah um moral of the story is I get that done once a month but the middle of the month once a month uh just keep you know keep the body intact get rid of the inflammation and really really getting that deep tissue but uh yeah so, got run into high V quick and then grab some stuff. What is up, guys? Uh, today is Sunday. Today is the day you're actually gonna be watching the video. So today's video is actually still being filmed today. Uh, it's just going to be out a little bit later. But um, we uh, <laughs> we're going to get some food because I'm hungry and tomorrow's program starts. So. Prep is 100% on like on the way, like full board. Uh, I do have flexible dieting, so you're gonna be seeing me eat some things. You're gonna be like, how? Like, why would you eat that if you're cutting? Well, just trust the process. Like, I trust my coach, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do it. But uh, yeah, uh, I will see y'all when we go pick up our, uh, our favorite person. So look at, check this thing out. He literally, what'd you get, a couple weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Look at this. Got the good old Ducati, but uh, we'll enter a, a good old montage. <laughs> Later, man. It's good to get food with you. You guys will be seeing a lot more of Max on the channel. Uh, really proud of him for buying a bike. Uh, I love it. I'm actually a huge Ducati fan. But all right, later, hey, man. Buddy. We will see you guys when we get back to the Ville. Oh, would you look at that? I don't know how you guys got in there. I don't. But you got in there. But uh, yeah. Um, that pretty much sums up today's video. Uh, moral of the story. I say that a lot as well, but. Yeah, finally doing like what I want, like what I truly want. Like I have a watch company. Um, that is kind of it's not my, it's not my main priority. It's it's literally not my main priority. Like my main priority is this clothing company because it really is sentimental to me, guys. Uh, the message behind it literally like is who I am. Like it's what I stand for. Uh, it has a strong meaning behind it, and I'm super excited for you guys to be a part of it. Um, I didn't film anything with other with Max other than like his bike and like we went out to eat obviously, but yeah, been been a busy Sunday so far, and I'm gonna put this out for you guys. But as always, thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure to smash that like button and uh, hit the subscribe. Maybe drop a comment down below if you're feeling that. Uh, really helps me grow the channel because you know puts my video out there, and uh, yeah, your boy would appreciate it. But, it's just crazy. It's crazy to think that I finally 
in the position to to do the clothing brand and it's, it's gonna be a grind it's literally gonna be a grind you're gonna have a lot going on be really busy but we're still gonna be pumping out content and i'm super excited for those of you to join me uh through summer shredding and through uh the business and becoming a part of that community um as always thank y'all for the support and love kids i'll see y'all in the next vid peace